Hey guys, it is me, Angie, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be setting up for Christmas because it is Christmas Eve, and I'm super sorry that we haven't been posting a lot for this role play. However, as you guys can see, we did decorate the house Christmassy. The girls currently are actually at their grandparents' house, which is why it is so quiet. However, I do have a special guest for you guys, which I have been literally telling you guys I will introduce you to for the longest time, and that is Luke who I've been telling you guys about. He is the girls' older brother and he has been off at college. So, woo, time to get up. So, as I said, it is Christmas Eve, which means we have to decorate and set up for when Santa arrives, like last minute Christmas shopping and making the big feast and all of that. I won't actually be doing a video on Christmas just because I really like having that family time. So I'm going to be making some blueberry muffins for breakfast. Morning, Bob. Good morning, sweetie. So Luke and I have a ton of stuff to do. We have to get the girls some presents and we technically already have a tree, but Luke was suggesting we get a, another tree. Um, so we might go and check that out. And then we haven't had photos of Luke for the longest time hanging up in our house. So I think we might go and take some photos with Santa Claus. Oh my God, I can't wait. That sounds super fun, mom. Luke, sweetie, can you take the muffins out of the oven? Yeah, sure, Mom. Hopefully it doesn't burn. Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of him. He's growing up so quickly. As I said before, he's been in college, actually. So he is majoring in communications, which I'm really proud of him for. And then he's minoring in marketing. So it is currently around noon, and we should start shopping if we want to get all of the stuff by the time the girls get here. So, Luke, why don't you um, get into the car yeah, sure, and I'll yeah. grab my purse really quickly off my desk. So Luke has been really into like nature and going on hikes and everything which is why he wants us to get a new tree because he was saying our tree isn't up to par. Wasn't that right sweetie? Yep. <laughs> okay so we're gonna go quickly and go actually over here honey. We're gonna go over to the mall or like the salon area so we just got um riley this really nice perfume and then the hairstylists have the cutest stuffed animals that you just get they have them on the side and we actually actually it was luke who saw it, it was this little uniform plush so i think bailey's gonna really like that yeah yeah it was cute luke actually got her that why don't you tell them honey you bought them the uh her the doll set that she has in her room yeah so basically i knew i wanted to get bailey a toy and i was scrolling on ebay and i saw this super cheap super nice intact dollhouse and it just made me think of her immediately and i knew she was gonna love it, it had lots of pinks and blues it was adorable so i got that for her yeah. and luke is very thoughtful like out of all of the kids i think luke is probably the most reserved as you you guys can probably tell from just this whole interaction he is definitely quite reserved and then the girls are quite out there <laughs> okay so we're here at santa claus's little workshop so like why don't you just sit on his lap or something like that i know you're a bit old but um we can take a photo so now, Luke is going to tell us a little bit about the Christmas trees so that we can get the perfect one, even though we already have one. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. So the darker green ones are probably going to be the best. They're more lush and they have a lot more moisture. They're going to stay alive a lot longer. And then the lighter ones are a lot more dry. Um, they have a stronger scent, but they're not as fresh. Oh, I see. Okay. So probably getting a green one, and then based on size, what do you prefer? The bigger ones or the smaller ones? Go big or go home. A larger one? Okay. Yes, for sure. And then, um, so do you like when they're very like slim or when they're fluffed out? Fluffed out is nice for decorating purposes. This one's so big, I don't think we can get this one. It will not fit in our house. <laughs> okay, I think we can just get a mini one then. Bailey will definitely like it if it's cute. Yeah. Oh, maybe this one? I don't know. Okay, why don't you go around and pick out a tree? Okay, so I think Luke found the perfect tree for us. Why don't you go and show us which one that one Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's over here, and it's just this darker green one. I think it was super cute. It smells so nice. It's super fluffed out. I love it. So we are going to probably get that one. And then I was thinking about getting a few of these. 
um, poinsettias. We just bought the tree, the new tree, and we're gonna go put that up. I don't know what we're gonna do with the old tree. We will have to see. We might actually put a tree just out in our front yard. I don't know. What do you think? Roger, that sounds like a plan. Okay, so I just set up the Christmas tree. It took us like all day. Literally, it was so long. And Luke is just inside starting on some cookies. Hopefully, we can get them done before the girls get home. And then we can um, go to bed for Santa Claus to come. Hey, sweetie, which cookies did you decide to make? Yeah, yeah, I decided to make some gingerbread cookies. I thought that was a solid Christmas treat. I'm just looking for the ingredients. Oh, gingerbread. I've never actually made gingerbread before. I've heard it's really difficult. Well, I sure hope not. So, while Luke looks for the ingredients there, we're either going to make- What do you think, Luke? Making a pie or some more cookies? Definitely a pie, like a pecan pie or something, or you should make a Yule log cake. A pie, okay. Or a Yule log cake. Okay, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin, but pecan, what about that? Yes, agreed. I think we should definitely do pecan. Do you say pecan? Yeah, it's like a pecan. I have not raised you to say pecan. It's like a pecan? I do not pee in a can. Honey. Okay, we can do pecan pie. How about that? Are you sure you don't want to do a Yule log cake? I feel like we haven't done that since grandma. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we should definitely do Yule Log. Yes. His grandmother was super fond of making Yule Log cakes, and that was their tradition. So while those bake, we can clean the counter because it's still dirty from this morning at breakfast. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm mom. Where should I put the gingerbread cookies? Oh, you can just leave them on the table. Thank you so much. You are the sweetest little boy. I wish Bailey and Riley had your manners. I don't know where I went wrong with those kids, but at least they say pecan instead of pecan. Okay, why don't you help me out making the rest of this cake? And we can um, just kind of frost it. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> You're so, so silly. Hard. Just no. frost it. You're doing great. Oh, those years of practice, baby. There we go. Okay, do you want to roll it up now? It's just the most satisfying okay. part. So fun. Oh my god. He's honestly the best at rolling it up. Every time I do it, it's like all wonky and lopsided. Not <laughs> even. It's fine though. And then we can try... Oh, I'll get some glasses of milk and we can have our cookies with milk. So we just had dinner. We had some delicious salmon. And now we're going to get eat some of these cookies that you made. Why don't you grab a portion? of gingerbread and um want wait here cheers <laughs> cheers cheers okay one two three eat wow very crunchy <laughs> they taste a little burnt but hey, I didn't say it was that good tastes good really good i'm gonna have some of the milk to um get rid of that, mm -hmm. that delicious taste <laughs> and finally let's dig into this yule log cake oh i always love how yule log cakes look when you cut it before we do anything we technically don't have a fireplace so i'm not quite sure how santa's been doing it all these years but we are going to place we are, yeah i know we're going to place these cookies right out here next to the tv let's turn that off so i don't have a huge bill um and we can also get some milk for santa claus oh that's water do you think santa wants a carrot why don't you get a carrot for him Bailey always had a joke with Riley where they would give Santa Claus a carrot because Riley said that Santa Claus was fat. Very rude, may I say. I mean, she's not wrong. Now let's have a taste test of the Yule Log Cake. Ready? One, two, three. Mmm, this one's good. It's not overcooked. I thought it might be just, but then again, like I said, you are the expert. Okay, I'm trying to be quiet because Luke is upstairs sleeping. Honestly, I don't know why, but this tree literally glows green and it, it's it's like the most annoying thing ever because I, I swear it's like an alien species. So sorry if this lighting is terrible from the tree. But we're gonna go tuck him in and then um, probably go to bed so Santa can come. The girls haven't come home yet, so hopefully their nanny and papa can bring them home. Oh my god, look how pretty that is. Okay. Good night, Luke. I love you so much, and I'm super happy you could come home for Christmas. Hopefully, you can come home some other time also because we yeah. really miss you.
all right you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you guys did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below we have finally hit 100 subscribers which i'm super happy about and i will be coming out with a video with a giveaway for that very soon so make sure to stay tuned if you want to see that but i love you guys all so much and i hope you had a wonderful christmas bye